Hello and welcome to my match review of match day three of the non-league season. So we'll start off in the National League and the first game that I want to talk about is Lincoln City 1, Sutton United 3. Now obviously Lincoln City won 6-1 on Tuesday night at home and their next home game was obviously yesterday and they lost 3-1 to Sutton United. The National League South champions of last year ensured that they were going to take all three points back down to London thanks to goals from Will Sharp, Collins and Deacon in the 93rd minute. This brings to an end Lincoln's 100% record so far, so they'll be disappointed to lose that. And Maybe it was complacency that's brought about this this loss at home after winning 6-1. So I think, I think they're, they're a very strong side there and they're going to be fine for this season. So the second game that I wanted to talk about was a early top of the table clash between Tranmere and Eastleigh. And Tranmere, thanks to a goal in the 94th minute from James Norwood, ended up winning the game 2-1 to maintain their 100% record. So they've won three games out of three. They're the only team in the National League that have done so. And the third game that I wanted to talk about in the National League was between Forest Green and Gateshead, down at the New Lawn, and it ended 1-0 to Forest Green, thanks to a Dale Bennett goal in the 91st minute. It's a first victory of the season for Forest Green. They've got four points out of a possible nine to start the season, which isn't ideal for them. They would have obviously wanted to get all nine because that's what they got last season. They won, I think, about nine games in a row at the start of last season. They were completely unstoppable and they still couldn't win the league, but they've had a poor start this year in comparison. So overall, looking at the National League table, Tranmere Rovers are top on nine points out of nine after three games. Then in second and third are Boreham Wood and Solihull, both on seven points. A great start for Solihull. Just coming up from the National League North, National League North champions last year. They've had a great start to the season. Then in fourth and fifth is Lincoln City and Gateshead, both on six points. So moving down into the National League North, and the first game that I wanted to talk about was between FC United of Manchester and Stockport County. Now this had a crowd of over 3,000 and it took place on Friday night. Going into the game, Stockport had won both of their opening games. They're the only team in the league that had done so. So they were looking to extend their lead at the top uh, by winning another three points uh, and getting nine points out of nine so far. However, they couldn't do that. FC United of Manchester won 2-0. Goals from Wolfenden and Lowe ensured the points for them. So moving back to Saturday, we have got a game between Staley Bridge Celtic and Salford City. So another Manchester derby. There's a lot of Manchester teams in the National League North this season. Salford City obviously new to the league after getting promoted last year. They have gone away to Staley Bridge and won 4-0. Goals from Wolverton, Phoenix, Hume and Walker ensured the points. And it's a great result for Salford. Really sort of a signal, signal of intent for them because they're obviously going to be looking to finish high up in the league this year with the money that they've got and obviously the high profile owners that they've got. So the third game that I wanted to talk about in the National League North was between AFC Fylde and Brackley and it was AFC Fylde's first home game of the season so it was their first game at Mill Farm, their brand new stadium, 6,000 capacity, very nice looking stadium in comparison to their old ground and the game ended in a one all draw. Brackley opened the scoring early on but a late equaliser in the 81st minute from Williams ensured that Fylde would get something from the game. Obviously not an ideal start at their new stadium but it's still a point. So the final game that I want to talk about in National League North was between Darlington and Boston. So a newly promoted team against a team that finished in the playoffs last year and it ended in a 4-1 victory for Darlington and represents a really good result for them because they're obviously brand new to the league as well. I predicted them to finish 13th, I think, this season, but they've started really strong. A real statement of intent again from Darlington to beat a, beat a playoff team last year. Yes, Boston haven't had a great start. They've got, well, they've had an awful start. They've got no points from their first three games. Probably the loss of Dale Southwell is going to be a big factor. Uh, and I think they're going to struggle to replace the goals that he scored last season because he scored an awful lot. I think it was about 24. I think he was the joint top scorer in the league. So to lose him to Wickham Wanderers is a massive loss and they look like they're missing him already because they've only scored one goal in their opening three games of the season. So it's going to be a close league this year. Halifax currently lead the way on seven points, closely followed by Tamworth, also on seven points but behind on goal difference. Then there is Stockport in third on six points followed by Harrogate and FC United of Manchester, who both have five points. So looking down to the relegation zone, and it is currently made up by Boston, sitting bottom of the league. One goal scored and seven conceded, no points. Horrendous start for them. 
Then in 21st is Gainsborough Trinity and in 20th is Worcester City. Two teams that I think will probably finish down the bottom of the league. I'd expect Boston to rise up the league as the season goes on, but I think Gainsborough and Worcester are going to be in relegation battles this year. They both have one point so far. Now finally on to the National League South. And the first game that I wanted to talk about was between Hungerford and Ebbsfleet. So an early top of the table title clash. Both teams have won their first two games of the season. Ebbsfleet you would expect to be near the top come the end of the season. And this game ended in a one-all draw. A goal just before half-time for Ebbsfleet from Charlie Sheringham opened the scoring. Before just after half-time a goal from Bignall from Hungerford levelled the scoring. And that was how it stayed for the rest of the game. A one-all draw. So the second game in the National League South that I wanted to talk about was between Bath City and St Albans City. Bath City have made a poor start so far, they have lost both of their opening games, but they changed that with a great 3-0 victory against St Albans. Goals from Hemmings, Month and Stuart Fleetwood, ensuring that they take the points. And last but certainly not least in the National League South was a game down at Parkview Road between Welling United and Western Supermare. Western Supermare have been a surprise package of this season so far. They've won both of their opening games and they made that three wins out of three with a 2-0 victory over Welling. Goals from Grubb and McCluskey ensured that they would take the points back over to the West Coast. And it really is an awful start for Welling. Fresh down from the National League, they have lost all three of their opening games, no points, and they sit second bottom of the league in 21st place. Only below them is Concord, who have... No points as well, but a worse goal difference. And in 20th is another team that you'd expect to be higher up than the league. It is Dartford. They have two points so far. And then more positively moving up to the top of the league is Western Supermare, who are the only team that have won all three of their opening games. Nine points out of nine, followed by Ebbsfleet and Hungerford, who played each other today. Both of those have seven points, followed by Maidenhead and Hampton and Richmond, who, again, Hampton and Richmond, great start for them. Those teams are both on six points. So that concludes my match day three review for the non-league season. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And thanks for watching.